Assalamu alaikum guys. Hello, how are you? How is everyone? Hi. Uh, today our video is about onions and uh, in our old cities they used to keep onions. It comes in sometimes. They used to keep onions for so long. So moms used to hang it outside of the balcony so it can dry and they can use it all the year this way. So basically in this video, I'm going to show you how I did this miniature onions from foam, from very simple materials we have home. So, let's get started. I'm very excited. Are you? Okay, let's start. Yep. Okay, so materials we have here are very simple. We can find them home. We have here foam, small balls, two different sizes. Big sizes for onions, small sizes for garlic. We do have also this one, which is corn, is corn silk. The corn silk, I, I have it. I keep it like this. And when it dries, I color it with um, tea. I just suck it in tea. Then become the color is like this. And they can use it in so many projects I, I have. And we have PV glue, white glue. And we have here the crochet paper, which is comes in uh, so many colors, but I'm using here the off-white one. I cut them like this. Okay. And we do have also this dry rice straw. I just have them. You can find them in any of the shops for the um, craft. Okay, so let's start it now. I'm going to start with the garlic, so I'm going to take the small one. And I'm going to pick it like this with a long needle. Now, when I cut this crochet paper, it has lines. So I will make sure that I use it on the side that the lines are long. Then I pull it like that. Okay. Now, I'm going to wrap this inside, but I have to cover it with PVA glue. I have to dip this first in the PVA glue. Oops. Be careful, don't work next to a fan or something because they will fly. Now, I will wrap it like this. Very tight. Make sure that it's tight. Then I will seal it with an extra PV glue. Now, I will squeeze from here and from up. I just do it like this and I will squeeze squeeze sorry and I pull it and I'll keep it on the side to dry okay let's make one more I just dip it here in the PV glue Take the crochet paper, pull it. I see the direction of the vein, it should be long. Then I roll it and I seal it with the PV glue from here. Don't, ex don't put extra PV glue because it will take time to dry. Now I make a pressure from here and here, like I pull them all together, just collect them all together. And if I need to seal it, then I will just put a little bit. This way. Now, I'll make a couple of them. I did these ones before. Big ones is for onions, small one is for garlic. The same way for the garlic we do for the onions. Now, after some time and after it dries, I'll just trim it with the scissor, cut a little bit from up, and I will try to make lines remove the extra, I push, push, so I will make a base for the garlic.
Now let's do this for another one. I cut from up. Then I push, I make a base. And then leave the other side long. Now I'll push like that to make, because you know onions, sorry, the garlic. So I can, you can see that they are one by one like some marks on the sides okay now the coloring time I'm using here watercolor because I need it to be light to give the feeling that it's transparent okay now I'm what using the white color more water and I cover it Now, maybe somebody will tell me, okay, the crochet paper is off-white, so why are you coloring off-white again? Now, I like to do that because when I will put some purple color, then they will melt together and they will give a nice look. Okay, so I will color all the... Now, I'm taking purple very light purple and they put some dots like this so they will melt with the base I did which is the off-white not too much okay if the purple I put become extra I will immediately put water and remove it because I like to have some kind of shade some kind of tone see I just put it, it's like watery, and I let it run. Now, all the garlic are here. We'll keep it in a side, then it will for, for drying. After some time, I will just take a dry brush, just slightly have some water, and they put brown. like this is the head of the garlic on top only okay then I'll dip it in the PV glue white glue and I put it in the corn silk which I cut it small pieces okay that's it now I will repeat the process again little bit brown on top on the edges as you see then PVA glue white glue then dip it in the corn silk the colored one which I colored before like that let's make one more then PV glue and I dip it here again so all of them are done this is the final look now for the onions I have to cover it I'm using three tones three shades here first is skin color then slightly um, orange color brick color then mustard color so I will melt them together as I'm doing here now I put the dark then I melt it like this I don't want it to be like concentrated in one place and one place, no. Then I will have a dry brush and they just make the brown on top. It's the same style. PV glue and dip it in the corn silk. Like this. make more 
skin color brick color and mustard color here we go just meet a couple of them find that touch if I feel like it need little bit more orangey or more ochre I would do with dry brush now here the onions mm, they are very sharp <laughs> Keep them in a side, and now I'm going. And this is the garlics. Now I'm having here the dry, the rice dry straw. I just open them like this, and I try to make join them together like this. With the help of the glue gun. Now, if you cannot do this with one hand, maybe you can ask somebody to hold it from top, from up, and you can use it, use your two hands in making it. What I'm used to do is for my daughter's hair when she was small. <laughs> so <laughs> you do it like this and just open, make them a little bit loose. Now I have to arrange the onions here. I just put it like this. with the help of the glue gun you can use a different pattern to glue them on top of this dry rice straw but I see that I feel like this one is look more realistic so that's why I use this one I cut the extra move the, the glue gun whip put a little bit pressure and keep do going keep going This thing can be used as a fridge magnet. You can put a small magnet at the back and can be used as a fridge magnet. We can decorate jars, the cover of the jar with these things. Some people they just make onions and sorry, a garlic and they keep it in jars, use it to, when there is no garlic. So you can decorate the jar with this thing. Now I have to make some place to hang it. So coloring it like this, doing it like this, sorry. Yeah, that's the final. Now I do, I repeat the same process, same thing for the, for the garlic. make sure that they are really stuck and that's the garlic and the ginger I hope you like it and if you uh, like the video please like and share and subscribe and see you for next video if you have any suggestion please leave it leave the comment in the box below what do you want me to do and inshallah we will be doing it i hope you like it and thanks for watching
Bye bye. If you really like the video, please like, share, subscribe, and turn the notification bell. Hope to see you next time. Bye bye.